Rebel for Jesus. 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 Hello everybody and welcome to this awesome and superb video uh, which is being brought to you by me. Right, it's called Eyes, Windows to the Soul and in this video we will be making some conclusions uh, that I think you will find very interesting. And right, <clears throat> let's get on with it. What have I got to do here? Uh, right, we've got to do that and then get rid of my and then go straight on here right so I was watching a video this one so I was looking at um, the different animals with uh, slitted vertical slitted pupils and because there aren't that many and we'll go through and look, look at each one of them so I was looking at the snakes the crocs right now I was watching the ones on foxes I've always liked foxes right and as I was getting towards the end of the video, I um, I thought, um, you know, I'm wrong. This is nonsense. Um, you know, fox are just cute. But I'll, I will get there, right? So we got. So they're looking at a few families of foxes. So here we've got. They've actually got a camera in a burrow of uh, a wild fox. Okay. Uh, there's a few pups in there. Um, now let's see. We'll keep track of what's going. On. And they're they're, the, they're these ones living uh, in Newfoundland. Okay. So there you go. A few little fox cubs, aren't they cute? And here they are showing us <clears throat> that they're in the in the. Uh, Thing there and they, they've got five cubs right five cubs um, and they also talk about how the the male fox does hang around um, you, you know which you know he comes back spends time with the the kiddies right as they're growing up and getting bigger okay I think this here is the male visiting and uh, his eyes don't look vertically slitted there because the pupils are open. Um, but anyway, the foxes are. There's little cubs there. Look, look. So th the thing is, they started with five, and then there was four, and they didn't say anything about you know what had happened to the others. You know, had they been eaten by something or. And then there was three. Okay. And they're sort of being left alone a bit more. Learning to... And the, the parents are leaving them food. But... What happened at the end which shocked me was damn it I'm gonna find where it is now basically the fox parents ate one of the foxes and showed the two surviving foxes um, that they did it now, that's a special kind of evil, isn't it? I mean, do you see it as evil? Eating your own kids? It must be back here. That was the one who, that was the, the fox that went off to live on his own. And then I just thought, bloody hell, there is something in this. You don't eat your own kids. I don't want you to just take my word for it. I want you to see it.
because you, you saw the mother brings the half of the fox there and they're watching and she's she doesn't look like she's enjoying it to be fair now I just don't think that is normal behavior for an animal they don't make the kids eat it but you know that you know you have kids but daddy's had his half she's only got half a fox now she had a whole fox a minute ago look that was their brother their sister oh are they in? no so they don't want it like sod that and what are they feeling like well at least we're still alive <laughs> I mean, you would wouldn't you okay so so I've shown you that and you see there she tucks in and uh, daddy must have had the other half so you know everything foxes do isn't evil I'm not saying that but to have that in your um, you know as something you do we'll, we'll bring up five kids and if times are a bit hard we'll we'll eat a couple of them Wait, just do you know what I mean? It just doesn't wash. It must be a, a vertical slitted pupil type of thing to do. So let's just um, quickly go through and look at the slitted pupil animals. So, um, so we've got fox. So fox is basically a, a, a dog type of in it it's in the <clears throat> canine canine family um, so we've got all the canines and there's only one canine that has slitted pupils uh, all the other dog have um, round pupils okay round right next category cat cat eye vertical slitted pupil now lion lion eye be round you see uh, leopard oh, I can get rid of the things now can't I? leopard round eye cheetah cheetah round pupil uh, lynx you might think they're similar to domestic cats but the good old lynx has a round pupil See there, that's a fake image, that's cartoon or drawing. That looks a bit weird, but pretty clear. It's when the eyes go small, you so see, you can notice it the most. I mean, they do look very, actually, they are. Damn it. I hate this when this happens. They're almost vertical slitted, aren't they? They're almost just like smaller. Well, we'll have to check out lynxes. Maybe they're evil as well. Um, what else? Uh, puma. Puma, some type of glasses. Puma, round. A jaguar. I haven't checked jaguars actually. Jaguar. Yeah, round. 
and one more tiger tiger right now there is one of the I'll say cat family but it is a bit uh, hyena now everybody knows hyenas are evil little bug buggers you know they don't hunt their own prey they wait till someone else has made a catch and then they um, go and hound them off it by pecking look how ugly they are I mean you would not call that a righteous animal that is a beast it is a beast the hyena look at his face covered with blood <laughs> I'm being a bit exaggerating here aren't I but we know hyenas I mean they sound horrible um, they kind of look a bit horrible and they act horrible you know no honor in a hyena and they have the vertical slitted pupil it, it, honestly it's a bit difficult to get a close-up of the hyena because he's it's, it's got dark eyes very dark but they are a slitted pupil so there we go we've covered canines and felines and the only felines that have slitted pupils are the domestic cat and the hyena and the only canine that's got a slitted pupil is the fox uh, fox who eat their own young and hyenas we know they're dark and everything else now the snakes was interesting uh, now what I found out is that it's the vipers who have who have the slitted pupils and you've got lots of vipers as a uh, rattlesnake is a viper uh, puff adder is a viper and they got these uh, big heads the vipers and they primarily ambush so they what they do they go and sit and they hide and then they ambush their prey now other snakes put the block on. other snakes <clears throat> are round eyes and the one I watched was an awesome um, video this one here the king cobra he's like I mean, he is a righteous dude. He he could, he just eats other snakes, and you know I mean, he's single-minded. He he'll he'll go past an animal if he's you know if he's got something else on it, doing something else. He's not gonna. He doesn't just stop and eat whatever he can. He's he's on a mission. Good old righteous, round-eyed cobra, king cobra in Africa. That is. So, and if you look up on, um, you know, Wikipedia about um, about these eyes, then they do say about. Um, what am I doing? That animals the which have slitted vertical slitted pupils tend to ambush their prey so you know so the, the way science will explain everything is yes they've got slitted pupils because they ambush their prey so they've developed um yes the, the, you know science sort of reduces it seems to reduce everything to just oh it's pure logic and kind of make it boring i mean that the scientists probably wouldn't think it's boring because they probably you know like to get in depth with everything which is fine right but there's the other angle of you know why why did these animals choose to ambush and therefore get vertical slitted pupils if you like right um, but at the end of the day you've got animals uh, with vertical slitted pupils that tend to just ambush I mean what good do they do 
what good do they do at all? I mean, wouldn't it be a better world if we could walk down the path without worrying about being ambushed? In reality, I understand we need to have some evil in this world. You know, we're, we're, we're not coming to this world already sort of perfect, mature beings. We, we, we've got things we need to learn and um, evil plays its part. So I even think the existence of these potentially evil animals on this planet is because we still have things to learn. So as long as we still have things to learn, there'll still be these evil animals on the planet. Right? Possibly. I've talked before about um, places in the world where there have been wars and stuff and, you know, missiles blown up here. And the people who are inspecting the areas later have found new deadly creatures like new types of scorpion a new deadlier type of snake than has been found before you know so is the evil that we do directly uh, create more evil and it brings it into the world to show us what we're doing All right, maybe so then on to my sort of conclusion um about what this means for us as round pupiled beings is that we are inherently righteous and we almost can't not be righteous well we can we can act like those vertical slitted things and do evil abominable things but it would uh, it would kill us it would kill us you know it would affect our dna because our dna is a round righteous being and we couldn't possibly act like that because it's in our dna we're just not made that way so you'd if you did that you'd almost be like killing yourself basically um <clears throat> so i think that concludes what i was wanting to say and i'll make some sort of thumbnail for this video but that's basically what i was thinking eyes windows to the soul you've got your righteous shepherd in the middle there with the round pupil you've got those with the oblong rectangle sideways pupils it's like the flock uh, and then you've got the evils vertical slitted pupil there so possibly that's what Yeshua was referring to when he spoke of children of the evil one. Okay, ciao for now.